much of it. Yeah, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> I was talking about my day, and uh, I don't know if it's still hiding. I don't want to get into it. I'll keep it shut up on this video. Hold on. That real cold. It was a beautiful day today, but I do have to say, it was a, a little bit. I got a candle. It's nice because I can see with the light, and then I got a flashlight here. Yeah. I don't have a chance. Like I said, it's around 11 o'clock or so. I got a flip through. Oh, I gotta move it a little bit there. It's like a piece there. Okay. Not really. Okay. My last video, just real quick, in case I don't put it up. I was saying, I had a nice day. My husband and I, you know, like, we had a good time, you know, nice time, my husband was out there, my daughter was down there playing tennis, and I uh, was bringing up for, you know, I, I, I like to save things, like I tried to preserve them the best I could, and they had went in the attic the other day, and we have tennis rackets from back in the day, and she's been wanting to play tennis, and uh, I said, oh, did you use rackets, and he was like, yeah, we went in the attic the other day, and he said it was fine. You know, like he said, everything. The cell was a warped. It was like a stainless steel racket. I don't even know. I don't even know. I know there's rackets up there. But I tried to preserve things the best I could. So that, like, later on in life or something, if we decide to use it. Or if, even if I donated it, it's in good shape. And, but, uh, they've been using it. He says it's working. Even the tennis balls were still in good condition. So they were out there, and then they made together. They were making bed. I was cleaning the bathroom. I had to clean the bathroom while I was doing that today. They were, uh, which was nice. They were in the kitchen together, and they made red velvet cookie cakes. And, you know, with the little marshals in there. And then they made uh, gava deal and broccoli. And we sat down. That was delicious. And, uh, and she helped him cook that. And um, I cleaned up while they went back out there to play tennis again. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to actually play out in the sun, but I, you know, I had things to do. So I have a few videos. One I made a little bit around 9 30, 10 o'clock, but my husband was like, and I talked to my sister, and my husband was like, oh, you got to be quiet. So that's why I'm very quiet, because right now it's probably a little bit after 11. But they are sleeping, so this is my cap time at this point, my relaxation, my reward. <laughs> I was working on a, a certain song. The thing is, like, I do write down lyrics and stuff, and some lyrics I still have in my head. But, um, I mean, not, you know, I just don't have the 100% time all the time, because I do have other duties to do, and trust me, my husband reminds me, okay, about the duties of, or, you know, things he thinks I should be doing at that moment, so. Then my sister called, and I brought this up in my other video, and she was just talking about that little world, world stage event. And I said to her, oh, it's like one of those, uh, you know, the, oh, it's, I, I don't know what word to use, you know, it's hard to say, but I even told her it's that spirit of, like, there's a blood stain on it, bay, yeah, yeah, that one, like, where I think that there's certain spirits that got a problem with when this, 
I don't know what to call it, the Venus feminine frequency comes in. And, I mean, I don't even know if they're playing it out or just is it what it is or it brings it out in people. Um, I mean, I feel that frequency myself, even in my own household at times, so don't get me wrong. Um, but it seems like it gets nitty gritty on the, when it comes on the real stage. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the man, woman, and, you know, like, she left to staying on my bed, and, you know, and, and that kind of thing, you know, that, that spirit. And that one always be coming around. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but, you know, world stage, staying on the bed, you know, that one. I took my glasses off. I just wanted to. That's just like a little. I gotta fix them. They're not broke. It's just that they were. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let's go inside. Oh. I'm getting whispered. Whispered. Alright, I'll see where this goes again. And Lordy, 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 Lordy. I gotta be quiet. It was quiet chords, but I'm gonna try to be quiet with this.
heard you say Every time I'm trying to talk your way Then you look at me and tell me I'm the one that's gonna Give you a hard time You better look inside your own mind Look inside your own Bring me back home. I don't know about that one, but I have to be quiet. Quiet day. Don't get me started. I got a whole story about the whole quiet day stuff. And that goes back. Oh. Hold on, I got to be going back. I worked with, I used to work in a factory. That was a, a 
I was really young. I was in my late teens. I was actually a packaging supervisor. Actually, if I think about it now, and I used to, I wrote a forklift. I did quality control. Um, I actually did a lot, you know, like in fact, if somebody said to me, hey, I got to run a factory. I actually have that experience <laughs> of like how to run the factory. Now that I think about it, like I had this experience as a packaging supervisor. I did quality control. I even ran the floor clips. I actually was so strong enough that I used to pick up two skid pallets like this and just bring them over. This is like, you know, now if you ask me to do that, I'm like, Arr! but I'd flip them over and I would put the boxes and I, you know, was a supervisor on the assembly line. I actually worked it and it was like, you know, like the accumulation line. And then I was learning how to do, it was a plastics factory and, uh, you know, how to do the machines in the back, you know, cause I used to work at first it was second shift, but then I worked the night shift. And those are stories in itself. In fact, years later, I went into the, one of the guys that that ran the. Uh, I was in my late twenties, so it was a little more than ten years later after that time. And um, you know, I was married to my husband at the time, and ironically, he was friends with the guy that was dating at the factory before I ever even knew my husband. Long story. That's all a long story. So I don't want to get off sub subject. Um, and he had been said to me, I think at the time I was like 27 years old. And at that time I was working, there, it was like 18, but he was like, oh my God, I never really realized how young you was even back then of working in that factory. But we did work as a team and it was, it was for a really rich Swedish family. But the, 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 uh, the guy that ran the factory, his father was a rich guy. And then he had bought his son a factory. I won't name names. His son a factory to learn how to run a factory. You know, um, and he would show up. He was a pretty nice guy and, and his fiance. But really, we was the ones running the damn factory as far as the mechanicals and the physicals of it. And, and uh, you know, I mean, that was just one of many zillion jobs that I had back in the day. Um, but yeah, like if I think about it now, geez, somebody even said that, you know, do you know how to run a factory? I'd be like, you know, I got the, ex I have, a, I have um, had a million jobs, but yeah, I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, I do. I do as far as the setup of a factory and how it goes and the human resources all the way down to who you need and the how to run the lines and all that stuff. Yeah, I do. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I mean, I got many stories about that I could go on, but I'm not going to. Okay, I love you all. Hugs. Kisses is favor and a happy, healthy healings to everyone. I love you.